Want to see something cool? Ever seen a gear shift on a pig? In my relentless appreciation for your enduring encouragement, support, and occasional nudes, I'm hauling out a few of my too big for the basement workshop toys that are still small enough to not require a forklift. This is a pole mount distribution transformer that we'll be wiring ass backwards for more energetically dangerous fun than that weekend in Halmstad with a piercing artist snow bunny. I'd call her, but I can't remember half of that weekend, much less her name. I think we might be married. Because pole mount distribution transformer is as much of a mouthful as I am, those of us in the coil community often refer to these simply as pole pigs, and this one comes with a fun little extra. It's got a fucking shift lever! This pivotal second class twiddler of mass changes the internal connections and lets you choose between running it at full voltage or half. But I haven't spent a decade hefting and hauling this hernia tank to half-ass the pass-through in my energy bank, so that lever gets less action than a Carmelite's good and tight. I can throttle the power back at the control cabinet if you simply want some foreplay before cranking the energy levels up to grippy socks. This thing is designed to take as much of a pounding as my grandmother's spanking bench, and try Trying to move it will give you a Chinese hernia. One hung low. So for this bit of kit, I just want to duct tape a brick to the gas pedal and hate fuck this can to a crygasm. If your tism is in sync with mine, and if you're the kind of filthy bastard that's subscribed to this inappropriate engineering freak show, it is, we cool, then you know the joy of finding a switch, button, or lever on a piece of kit and asking, what's that one do? Now you know the answer to this when you go finding one in the wild, and that's pretty cool.